What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Dravid, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so... We had a few good episodes. Exploring some new stuff, meeting some new people, getting some new stuff. That kind of stuff. And uh, more stuff to come. Stuff. Anywho, in this episode right here, we're going to be going into Sea Mallville. Now, if you guys don't remember, we did explore it the first time. It was a quick visit, and it, you know, it was, you know, very, very short and all that stuff. But we did promise to go back there eventually. Now, Sea Mallville is uh, the abandoned ship off of close to Dufer Town and all that stuff. And now that we got the dive technique and all that, we can actually explore it just a little bit further. And I do believe that you can actually find a specific Pokemon right there. Now, what we're going to do first is just, we're just going to explore it. And then eventually we're going to, you know, find said Pokemon right around that area. Now, let's see. Where is that place? I think that's what it is, right? Sea Mauville is right here. And the great thing about this is that you can actually land on it uh, with uh, Latios or Latios. So, look at that. I'm back, baby. There we go. Anywho, let's see. Let's go right ahead and surf upon this waters right here. Now, Sea Mauville was a boat right here that was explored by a few people that we've met over at Slateport City, including Mr. Briny, I think. And uh, you will be finding some interesting stuff right here. I did already get. I already got some items. And uh, there is one more thing too. You go up to the top right here. You will be finding. Uh, I believe. I think, it, I think it was in Pokemon Omega Ruby, right here, that you'll be able to find a warp hole to a legendary bird Pokemon. I could be wrong, I gotta check it out, but you're gonna find a legendary Pokemon right here eventually. But right now, our mission is to get to, let's see, our mission is to get through this whole area right here, now that we've uh, got some capabilities and whatnot. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see, what is inside here? The door is locked, it's written. We will be finding some key cards to get into this area. Now, let's see, where in the HE Double Hockey 6 is it? Places like this are so rare, so I'm taking a good look around. Hmm, hmm, there appear to be other rooms. And uh, there's a gigantic PC, monsters growing up, a uh, broken mirror. And I think we've already battled everybody right here, so I think the. I think the, the. I think the most important part is to get to the next area, which would be right here, which. We couldn't explore in the beginning so we're gonna surf and I did bring Lucky with me taught it dive just to go around here look at that we found dive and look at that oh, holy crud it's amazing it is amazing how you can just go in here get a mask and all that stuff now there is more but more things right here which I accidentally kind of went into and well let's see what this can actually find right here now, I'm clicking on the button right here because there might be a, an item right here. And like I said, you'll find two different kinds of legendary Pokemon depending on what Pokemon game you're playing right here. I believe in Omega Ruby, you're going to find Ho-Oh. In, in Alpha Sapphire, you're going to find Lugia right here. And, well, nothing. You can't find nothing right now. But this will enable us to go to this place right here. And look at that. Lo and behold, we can uh, actually hold on. Yes, press the A button and we can actually surface now. And look at that. Lucky is back on the team doing his part and we found some new locations. So let's see. Go into this door and look what we're going to find. And it feels like you're being watched. Hmm. I wonder what is here. So, I believe this is the place where you actually find that said uh, Pokemon. File of folders, uh, a stack of ragged par papers, official statement of uh, apologetic Cosmo uh, responding for all, uh, an odd keystone by Orberg Mine. This, the rest is too damaged to make out. And it feels like you're being watched though. Hmm. Where could it be? Okay, never mind. And you'll never rest, of course. And... Oh, wow. Unemployment and all that stuff. So, you are being watched right here, guys. And this is actually the place where you actually find uh, the odd... Or, not the odd key stuff, but you'll actually find a specific Pokemon right here. Which is... I uh, can't, can't remember what it was called. Uh, that, that Pokemon. And... Odd Keystone. 
and yes, we are being watched. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything right now in a, in in regards to that Pokemon. I wonder if you go back in, and we are being watched again. Okay, so it's gonna stay right there, guys. I'm not gonna do anything right now. We're gonna get through this whole place first before anything. And uh, well, this guy's gonna notice something. Hey, little kid over there. I came here because my uncle told me that there's an extraordinary treasure in his abandoned building. Don't you know anything about them? Well, how would you know? But if you learn anything, tell me, kid. Understand? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? And so we're going through the door right here, and, well, let's see. Oh, hi! A skinny doll, isn't it cute? I remember when uh, these were all the rage, but I wonder why is it here? Wasn't it in an office? Huh. Cover, knickknack, skitty, eh, whatever. Okay, so you're gonna be finding some stuff right here. Definitely a lot of knickknacks. And no paddywax. Give a dog a bone and all that stuff. And it, it, it's starting to say Professor Cosmo right here. Reimbursement. Oh, wow. So, apparently Professor Cosmo was in here. Would you like to take a look? Yes, I would like to read them. First letter would have to be Dear Daddy. How are you? Are you working really hard? I'm doing well. I'm doing all my homework and helping at home too. Mommy's working hard and making us dinner every night. Do you have to work this weekend? Are you coming? Or are you going to come home? If you come home, take me to see a star show, okay? Takao Cosmo. Okay. P.S. I'm going to send you a picture I drew at the trainer school. Let's read the next letter right here. It looked like another letter, but it's a drawing. It's a drawing of a boy's face, and written next to it is the words, I love you, Daddy. Want to read the next letter? Yes. Dear Daddy, how are you? Are you, going, are you working really hard? It is sad that you didn't come last weekend. But mommy didn't seem to, so sad. She went out with her friend, and I finally got to the telescope that I've been wanting. It was uh, from you, wasn't it, Dad? Or wasn't it? Thanks, Daddy. I really, really wanted it. I look, I like looking at the sky, Daddy. When I look at the stars, I wonder if you're looking at the same stars too. Looks like at the look. Let's look at the stars together next time you uh, come home. Takao Cosmo. So I'm assuming this is his dad, not Professor Cosmo, but you know. Cosmo's dead, you know, that kind of stuff. And wow, how many letters? Oh, wow. it's a lot of letters. Okay. Dear Daddy, how are you? Uh, you aren't working too hard, are you? You never come home anymore. I'm worried if you are okay. Mommy goes out with her friends a lot. It seems like fun, so I guess she's doing okay. The shell gun that you gave me evolved the other day. But I liked it better when it was a shell gun. And it looked like a meteorite. Salamence was kind of a letdown, so I asked my for, uh, asked to trade it for a uh, trade it for a cell ro or soul rock. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know it was a present, but I think soul rock is cooler. When it gets dark tonight, I'm going to look at the stars again, and I'll think of you when I do. Takao Cosmo. Another one. Let's go with the fifth one right here. Dear Daddy, I was really, really happy to get to meet you t the other day. It was so fun playing together again and going to see a star show too, even if it was uh, just the two of us. It was sad that Mommy couldn't go and even more sad when you and Mommy fought that night. I'll study hard, just like you told me, and I'll be a good boy, so don't fight. But let, let's keep up uh, watching the stars, even if I have to do all my homework too. When I grow up, I want to be a professor and study the stars. Takao Cosmo. Wow. This seems a little rough. Uh, yeah, wow. They got a divorce. I'm pretty sure they did. Dear Daddy, thank you for writing to me. I'm doing really well here, so please don't worry about me. I hope I will see you again someday. I dream about, all, uh, dream about it all the time. Brought the telescope you brought me to our new house. Please don't work too hard, Daddy. I hope you are okay. I will always, always love the stars, and I will always, always love you. Takao Cosmo. P.S. I'll give you my skitty doll. Please take care of it for me. Let's read another one right here. Okay, so let's see the seventh one. It looked like another letter, but it's a photo. It's a little boy holding a telescope with a woman beside him looking bored. Want to read another one? No. Okay, so I'm kind of getting the idea of what's going on right here. Uh, Professor Cosmo came from a broken family, I believe. That, that kind of sucks. It really does. So let's see what's up here. Uh, chewed up insane. Do, 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 the fame of shame. Champions exposed. Wow. Champions exposed and uh, never mind. Okay, so let's move on right here. We still got a lot to cover. 
Alright, and let's see, we talked to this kid. It's a perfect place for an explanation, so I'm really excited. Rumor has it there are some awesome treasures here. Hmm, there should be, and this one is locked. So let's see if, no, this one's locked too. And I don't know what it is for, but I found a key. I don't know what it is for, but would you want this? Yes, I do. Here it is, and we got the room key for room number one. And, well, let's see, if you talk to this little kid right here, what does he have to say? I heard there's a place that you can collect some uh, something called energy. Hmm, okay. And here we found ourselves the white herb. Always nice. So now we're going to have to make our way around this whole place and go into... Go into a, or you know, into the, the first room. That's where it all begins, guys. But those letters, really, like, wow, that, that eh, wow, that's heavy. That's some heavy stuff that, you know, happened to Professor Cosmo. Kind of sucks, too, because, yeah, it's never good to have a broken home. It's never good to have your folks fight over something or have a divorced kind of family and all that stuff. But it always is okay. It's always okay. It's always okay. okay when you know how to like how to deal with it and all that stuff. Believe it or not, guys, I come from uh, one of those homes, you know, divorced family and all that stuff. But it's all okay now because you know, as long as they're amicable, we're all happy in our kind of sense and all that stuff. So, anywho, let's go into the first one right here. And yes, we have opened this up. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here we go into the new room and well. We're going to find an item right here, and this would have to be the dive ball. And, okay, so that's a dive ball for us, and let's see. Locker's very dented. Would you push it in? It won't move. Okay, let's see. Okay, whatever. Okay. We're just going to be looking around in the cabinet covered dust. Grass is growing in an open drawer. This one right here. Broken. Huh? There's a key? Oh, look at that. We found ourselves another key. All right. Okay, so let's do that, and, well, there are trainers right here, I think. Yes, they finally see us. Okay, so we're going to be battling some trainers along the way. Completely forgot about that, so let's go right ahead and take on the Mysterious Sister Skull and Fion, or whatever their name is. Look at that. Desert Storm and Stage of the Halo. Okay, alrighty. So let's go. Uh, let's see. We're going to be going with, uh, not with an earthquake because uh, that doesn't work. So let's go with that and uh, let's see. How about X scissors for the chingling right here? There we go. X scissors does the trick. Say goodbye to chingling. And uh, well, that's more points for all of us. Of course, maybe, just maybe, Lucky might get a little lucky with the experience points, which is always great. And Curlia defeated. Okay. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, and we defeated the Mysterious Sisters right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see. That's that. We got ourselves the key to room two, I believe. So let's move on. Where is room two? I believe that's that. Let's see. Nope, that's uh, not the room. Okay, uh, how about this one? Okay, so that opens room number two. And from there, we're going to be looking at some more stuff, like uh, more people in here. And a ragged jumpsuit ju hung in the locker room. Pokemon may have not in it. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, let's see. It's a group photo of people in jumpsuits. They're all tanned, each striking a pose. That's cool. And, well, let's see. Grab this. We found ourselves a revive. And this right here. Let's see. Nothing right there, nothing right there. Maybe talk to this blush. Huh? What? How in the world did you get in? I locked the door! Alright, you want this? Don't you take this. And yes, we got ourselves the key room to number six. Alright, teaching this girl how hard it is to be a trainer. Okay, and... A pig is resting against the old time machine. It's like a, a horn of a Heracross, but it's very rusty. Huh. A horn of a Heracross. And the file labeled confidential contains stained documents. The documents have dates way before you were born. De sick investigation port development of new energy turned out to be true. The energy that uses uh, biology is called... It is a... Uh, uh, infinity energy? Investigation report. Series of actions related to cancellation of the mobile project turned out to be true. I recommend uh, prompt discipline actions against him as a traitor to our group. 
Are you serious? The team leader creative group. Oh, wow. So something bad happened right here. Something bad happened right here. Yeah, okay. So I'm starting to see what's going on right here. This this actually has a pretty dark story to it. And let's see, an old note in the back of the cabinet with broken glass. Finally, the day closing has been decided. I can't thank you enough to Stern, who invited us to a sh shipyard when we could have been left adrift. Doc, who, who's done a dirty job, and I can both start clean slate. The only way we can repay him is to support his business with our skills. Huh. Okay. Okay, so that kind of just brings a little bit more light to the mystery right here. Now, now that we got the key to the, what, room six? Now we gotta go all the way back again. Man, we're going back and forth here. All in circles. I'm kind of getting a little dizzy right now. And let's go Lucky. All right. Lucky is taking this in. Uh, man, the realist... The, the, how realistic is this? Look at that. It's all cool and everything. I would love to go downstairs right now, but no. Okay, so how are you guys doing right now? Luckily, luckily we're back in Pokemon Oras. We're going to be finishing this thing. We're going to be doing cool things. And then... Uh, we can finally say we completed the whole game, and no, I do not want to dive. So let's see what room six could be. Let's see, nope, that right there is the room that we're being looked at. And let's see, this one right here, that is room six, I think. Huh. Oh, it's a skitty doll, never mind. That's the wrong room, okay, so. Let's see, I think it's this one. Room four, never mind. Okay, so room six has got to be this one. And okay, so here we are in room six. And there's an entranceway right there, but before we do anything, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. It's an it's a tattered clipping from an old magazine cover. On the cover is a young lady who looks like Lysia. Termination of new Mavil project officially announced at last. Serious Ox begins about the closure of Sea Mavil. Cries of concern erupt from the staff, members working at Sea Mavil. Greater Mauville Holdings rep remain tight to lip about the issues. Project leader Watson weighs in on problems plaguing new Mauville. The rest of the magazine has been torn away. Wow. Yeah, so, let's see. Cancelate. The damage caused by the cancellation of new Mauville project has been catastrophic. As a member of management, much of the blame and the devs will fall upon me, but that will be a little consolation to the employees working under me who lo will lose their livelihoods. I couldn't do a thing for them. I'm a man with no power. Protecting nature and Pokemon in the environment. It's a great and is it's great as an idea. It's a fine ideal to aspire to and Watson is a great man of dreaming for uh, dreaming of all of it. But cruel reality and the organization that I must try to preserve have dashed those dreams. I couldn't do a thing for him. I'm a man with no power. This is the last page I'm writing, and other pages have been torn out. Wow. Little by little, you're going to find some mystery stuff right here, guys. And uh, it's an unsmelling mattress. There's something underneath. It's a torn magazine of some kind. Rugged vehicles from the world around the world. Huh. And there's nothing right there. So let's see what's in the lockers. Broken off. It's rusted. It can't even budge. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So let's go outside right here and look what we find. We find an outside layer to uh, see Mauville. Something that we, well, that's been added into this new game right here. And, uh, well, we're going to be uh, surfing around right here. And, uh, wow, look at that. And, well, there is a fisherman right here. Let's see what the uh, good old fisherman has to say. Hmm. You want something? How's it going? Hmm, not... It's not going out at all. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, caught anything? Hmm, I haven't caught any Pokemon. But I guess I did catch this. And we get ourselves the key room to room number four. And, well, let's see. I think there is one more room that we need to uncover. So let's see. What is uh, right here? What is this? Okay, so it's the storage room. Okay, so we need a... We need the storage key, and well, we're going to be using your shiny Gyarados, and is there anything right around here? No, there is nothing, so we got to go all the way back to room number four and uh, see what else, what other mysteries have, have been uncovered right here, so 
Let's see, this is room number four. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're opening this up, and... Let's see what's inside right here. Hmm. Those shelves look like they fall, may fall at any moment. There's an own game system with two screens. Something about this, is, something about it, it's different from the system you have. Huh. These shelves, okay, so it's probably talking about the, the 3DS right here. So let's see what this says. The locker handle has been broken off. The rest can't even budge. And what does this say? Dirty papers inside the cabinet. See Mauville newsletter number 389. We have a new monthly slogan and competition. It's uh, slogan number one. Oh, okay. Storage number one. Hard work. Recognition. Captain Sal will receive a Rocky helmet in, in a Rhyperior. Everyone will be... Okay, I, I, I don't even know what it says right there, but comment down below what it says, and here we have the storage keys. And that's always great right there. And let's see, spring out, there's something underneath, it's an on-looking uh, magazine. Captivating landscapes from around the world. Okay, alrighty, so that is that right there. And, well, now we gotta go back into room number six right here. Now that we can actually open everything, go straight to the storage room. And I wonder what it, what the storage room may have right here. It may have some pretty awesome items in there. So let's go ahead and move on. And here we are. And let's see what it, the storage case ha, ha, has to to cover for or uncover for us. As you can see, we have found a lot of items. And this guy's like, "Hey, would you look at that? Somebody got it open." The hell? It's this guy. Well, if it isn't the kid from before, looks like you've done uh, good, huh? Use the one who opened this. He's looking around and... Well, let's see. What? What in the world is this all? They, these nuggets over here. And these nuggets over there. Over here. This whole uh, joint is packed with nuggets ain't at all. No wonder the capo was uh, looking at for this place. What a punch to the gob. Good work here, kid. Now scram. You found it. The heck is he doing? Mr. Rezo. Of course I did, boss. We hit the jackpot. Ah, my Takao. So this is where you've been. You must have been lonely here. I'm sorry. Come on, it's time for you to go home. So he was talking about that skitty doll right there. <laughs> okay. Huh. Hold up, uncle. Hey kid, looks like it's your lucky day. Looks like all this shine is yours. Keep your nose clean. Okay, so that's, that was odd right there. And uh, would you look at that? We are in the midst of another sh uh, of another uh, mega evolutionary stone. But let's go ahead and grab all these nuggets right here. As you can see, it's a buttload of nuggets. Like, literally a buttload of nuggets. And I am uh, going to sell them all. And I'm going to buy a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff, guys, and uh, look at that. A big nugget can sell for like maybe more than I think fifty thousand. I don't even know. I don't even know. And look at that. We got ourselves another big nugget. Always good to have nuggets. And oh wow, a luxury ball. And okay, so that was a luxury ball. And this is a big nugget right here. Oh man, it really it really does feel like we're the richest person on earth right now because we're just finding all these nuggets right here. Look at that, look at that. Okay, we got nuggets here, nuggets there. Big nugget right here. Nugget everywhere. Dit, dit. And what is this? We found ourselves the TM-13 Ice Beam, which, of course, is a damn good move. And look at that, we got ourselves a nugget right here, too. And, well, let's go ahead and continue on right here with another big nugget. Man, that's just a lot of items right here. Let's see, found another big nugget. Oh yeah, big nugget right here. And we're gonna grab this guy. And that is that. So now we gotta get that little sparkly thing right here on the other side. I wonder what kind of mega evolutionary stone that could be. And of course, you're gonna be needing a Pokemon that knows how to surf. Surf, dive, and everything, yeah. Get yourself that Pokemon. And look at that, we found ourselves a Beedrillite. So, we kind of need a B drill so I can Mega Evolve and all that stuff too. So, let's go ahead and just get the heck out of here and be in our way. So, 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much it right there for C. Mauville. I know that there is a specific Pokemon that has been looking at us, guys. I get it. That will be for another episode at another time. That will be, well, yeah, that will be included for our legendary run, which will start in the next episode. So, look at this, guys. You see those Mirage Islands? Well, some of those Mirage, well, one of those Mirage Islands is going to have a legendary Pokemon. Like this one right here. The Pathless Plain, and I believe right here, you'll be able to find the Nameless Cavern. Now, this Nameless Cavern right there is going to be a difficult one because the Emotion Pokemon are going to be there just to screw around with you. So, like I said before, guys, uh, the Emotion Pokemon might be a three-part episode. No, it won't be a three-part episode. It's just going to be all, you know, all of these Pokemon in one episode. Maybe live com, maybe post com, depending on what time it is, because yeah, they are time based Pokemon. But in the next episode, for sure, for sure, we're gonna start opening up the layers to the three legendary Titan Pokemon. I think that's what it's called, the Titans. Yeah, you know, Reg Rock, Reg Ice, and Reg Steel. From there, we're gonna be capturing Pokemon in all the Mirage Islands, and then trading some Pokemon from other versions just to get some specific Pokemon. And then from there, we're going to be finishing off our whole entire walkthrough with a Pokemon Elite 4 battle. So, thank you guys again for watching this episode. Stay positive, stay, uh, you know, stay positive and stay safe out there. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Okay, so we're not going to end the episode like that. Uh-uh, we're not going to end the episode like that. So, let's try this again. I took a look at a video. And, oh man. Yeah, you guys are probably laughing at me right now. Uh, it, it's so easy. It is so easy to get this Pokemon. It's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be switching up some Pokemon right here. That way... Oh, actually, you know what? We're just going to keep it like that. And we're going to save this up right here just in case. Now, if you guys see some different Pokemon on my team, it's because, you know, I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, off screen, in screen, recordings, all that stuff. It is what... A week later after I did this initial video so let's go back in here now once you read this folder it says his rag stack papers official uh, statement of apology Cosmo Cosmo whatever you just let this read and it says the odd keystone and then after that the rest is too damaged to make out go to your well it says right here that it feels like you're being watched so what you got to do right now is go back into your uh, well, go back into your item section right here, and after you do that, you see an odd keystone right behind you, and then shot. You see, guys, it took me a week to figure this whole uh, whole thing out, but here it is, guys, the wild spirit tomb that we've been looking for. Now, in other games, this Pokemon is probably hard to get, but right here they made it so easy. It's just you know, for all of you guys who are smarter than me. Probably took you the first day. For me, it took me a full week. I'm going to keep on saying that because that's messed up right there. So here we go. A sucker punch, but here we go again. A thunder wave. Yeah, buddy. We're going to paralyze you. We're not going to screw this up. Now, as you can see, Spiritomb is both a dark and ghost type Pokemon. So this is a lethal combination in this point right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just try and mow it down. I did brought or I did bring Hydra number two to this whole situation, mainly to use Dragon Rage and... Uh, you know, weaken it down just a little bit. Dragon Rage does work on this guy, so yeah, buddy, you cannot do anything. All right, okay, so let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Rage right here. Let's go, Dragon Rage. And well, that's not a lot of stuff, but here comes a Dark Pulse attack. Oh crud! Now the only trainer that I know that has a Spirit Tomb is Cynthia, the former champion of Sinnoh, and yeah. She uses it to her full advantage. It's usually a strong Pokemon to get by. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw an Ultra Ball at this Pokemon. It's not... It really isn't a legendary Pokemon. All you need to do is just weaken it, give it a stats effect, and then that's it. So there it is. And... Bam! Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. So after a full week, yeah, that's right. You got old buddy Draven. Finally caught this Spirit Tomb that was hiding in this whole place. Hydra uh, 2, gross to level 77. Yeah, I've been doing a lot, guys. 
I've been doing a lot. So here it is, guys. The next Pokemon on our collection, Spirit Tomb, the forbidden Pokemon. Both Ghost and Dark type Pokemon, three foot three. 238 pounds of pure freaking awesomeness right here. A Pokemon that was formed by 108 spirits. It is bound to fissure and in, in an odd keystone. 108 spirits, holy crud. Oh yeah, 108 spirits. So, here it is guys. I am signing off, so again, thank you guys for watching this episode. Sorry about the whole mix-up and all that stuff, but finally we got this guy. Again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.